G'day guys, welcome back. My name's Chris, I'm from Australia, and today we're gonna to be having a look at real estate again. We're gonna be comparing across some real estate in Australia to the equivalent prices over in America. Um, as many know, Australia's real estate pricing is through the roof, not very exciting right now. Some of the most expensive real estate in the world. But today, we're gonna to have a look at an Australian city. We're gonna find the cheapest house in the Australian city. And then we're going to pair it across to what you can get over in an American city. And today we'll be having a look at Sydney, Australia. And you're going to find the cheapest place out there and compare it across to Phoenix, Arizona over in America. So first things first, let's try find something in Sydney City, um, just around the CBD. So we're going to find in the middle of the city for Sydney, just compare it to see what it would be worth. Um, just search on it and uh, we're going to filter it well as well, guys. So. Um, what I want is I want a three bedroom, at least one bathroom on this bad boy. Uh, we want a house, so we're not looking at units or anything like that. And I want minimum bedrooms of three and at least one bathroom. And uh, we're not going to look at auctions or anything like that, guys. We're going to try to find the, the cheapest house, nothing that's under contract, nothing that's under offer and hid the price away. Just want to find the cheapest three bedroom, one bathroom house. So Sydney, let's have a look-see-loo through here. This looks like a sponsored one for 3.8 million. Uh, let's try find, let's try find a price, come on. Oh man, what have we got going on over here? Well, there is nothing in the CBD for a three bedroom, one bathroom house. So let's, let's expand it out. Uh, Sydney, oh, just Sydney, New South Wales, okay. And we've got the same criteria on, awesome. Let's try it again. So not the CBD, let's have a look around just Sydney in general, nothing in the CBD unfortunately. So let's see what we can do. <laughs> I couldn't find anything that quite matches your search. What do you mean? What do you got around then? <laughs> okay, Surrey Hills. Now we, we wanna find something that's not on auction, we wanna find something with an actual price on it. What do we got? Okay, uh, 2.2 million. Oh, here we go. Um, buyer's got 2.2 million. So let's read the description out on this one. Inside this classic terrace facade, there are soaring open plan interiors that have been flawlessly transformed into a spacious and modern family retreat. Set just off of Glebe Point Road, this property offers cosmopolitan, 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 Cosmopolitan walk to everything lifestyle. Double height ceilings, windows bathe the space in light. Double height ceilings and windows bathe the space in light. Flowing interior seamlessly connected to the landscape garden. Designed a kitchen fitted with mealy appliances, stone bench tops, spacious primary bedrooms, whole bunch of nice stuff, guys. It's so three bedroom, marble tiled bathrooms on each level uh, with skylights on the upper. Um, let's see. So there's 50 meters to a bus stop. That's pretty good, eh? So you have the house and then the land size is 110 square meters. So a very small piece of land. Let's see, that is 2.2 million Australian. Uh, so we're looking in the price range of 1.47 million American, 1.47. Guys, this is the lowest. The first thing that popped up searching low to high across in Sydney right now. So 1.47 million US or 2.2 million Australian. So let's go have a look over in Phoenix, Arizona, what we could get for the same price. Geez, actually guys, I'm jumping the gun there. I was like, I was like, yeah, let's go look at Phoenix, but no, we have, have to look at the place in Sydney first. For me, I'm just like, it was like, it's too expensive, can't afford it. Let's have a look at the next house. But no, let's take some time. Let's have a look at this Sydney real estate specialty, the cheapest one that we can find in Sydney. So, wow, we've got a, a 110 square meter backyard. So it does look nice, okay? It does look like a nice modernish home. Um, don't know why these wooden spikes are all over the top of it there, but you know, maybe maybe let's stop criminals getting in. Um, you can see the neighbors got like <laughs> bars over the windows and stuff, but this one here has just got some um, fence pillars. Maybe it's metal, I don't know. Um, beautiful, looking front entryway. We've got the front there with a door. A small little garden out the front too. So we are the White House. The White House is the one that we're looking at. Um, we got a living room. Looks nice, uh, the walls are nice. Good plaster job done on it. 
Uh, looks like up the top there, uh, we've got central air conditioning. So that's going through the entire house. Um, we have a nice sliding door to get out to the back. Um, nice modern looking kitchen, bit small. Um, if you're trying to like put on like a, there's not really too much bench, bench room there or anything like that. It's kind of you cook it, you put it straight to the left or maybe straight to the right. A um, little sink, built in, built in oven though. So that's nice and you've got your hot tops on top. A um, couple of cabinets around. So um, for those who don't know, these cabinets up here, these squares, um, a lot of them you can kind of push them in and it'll pop out and then you've got like little drawers and stuff to put stuff in. Um, I assume that's what they've got built in on this one. Um, a lot of glass, so a lot of light coming into the space, like the description said. Uh, another angle across. But you know, like you've got that little sit around area there for dining and you can see out through the glass and see the one and a half meters of side yard you have before you stare at the fence. But you know, that's, that's nice. Um, at least you get some light coming in the house. You have your small little backyard area here where you can sit around, I guess, get some sunlight. Um, not too much privacy though, because you've got all your neighbors up on the second story there. They can see straight out into your backyard. So no topless sunbaking or anything like that. Probably can't get away with that too much, you know, unless you're a bit of a deviant, but you know, hey, that's you, not me. <laughs> there we are, we've got the master bedroom up the top um, with them, I guess, them bars coming through. I'm guessing that's to stop people from breaking in. Um, and is that a little door to get outside on the top? Maybe. We've got a bathroom. Um, you have a sink and a toilet. Where's the shower? I don't know where the shower is. Okay. Um, but okay, cool. So from the master bedroom up on the top, you can see down on that, that glass, see into your little, little backyard area. It looks like you can see across the fence to the neighbors on the other bit there. So a lot of, a lot of light though. That's the positive. A lot of light can get into the house. Um, looks like another bedroom here. Yeah. You've got your air con across there as well. So that's nice. Um, little window to see out. You've got bars across the window. Stop people getting in, of course. Uh, other than that. This is another bathroom. Looks like, where's the showers? Do you have like a bathtub and shower? It's not showing the showers. I always get worried when a real estate doesn't show pictures of the showers or a bathtub or anything. I'm like, I'm like what are they hiding? So don't show pictures that don't sell. Oh yeah, we've got our walkway where we can go up the stairs. They've kind of split this down the middle, but you know, we know this little bit here where you can see out, go up the stairs from there. Um, showing some stuff around it. It's like, yeah, you got a park nearby, you got a train nearby, you got some buildings nearby, um, and more buildings nearby. So they're just saying, well, the area is good. The house is here, the area is good. You're paying to be in the area. And a bit of a floor plan. Okay, so, um, downstairs, got living room, dining room. Okay, then you got a bedroom three or an office. Cool, and you got your downstairs bathroom. Going up the stairs, you have a bedroom two, bedroom one, and yeah, a bit of a yeah bathroom toilet situation, void. So yeah, three three bedrooms and some living space, pretty much. Um, that's that's what we're looking at. A small little court, courtyard and a little front garden and a little bit of garden on the side that you can look at when you're eating dinner down on the first floor. But that's the that's the the Sydney home. That's the cheapest in Sydney. Uh, that is 2.2 million Australian or 1.47 million USD. So let's go have a look at Phoenix, Arizona. See what we can get around that 1.47 USD mark or 2.2 million Australian mark. So we're going to change across real estate sites. We're going to cross to Zillow, which is more used in America. Whereas realestate.com.au used in Australia. Uh, we want Phoenix. AZ, I'm guessing, is for Arizona. And now let's get um, let's get a couple of these things in order. So we want bedrooms, we want three bedrooms, we want at least one bathroom. How could you sell a house without a bathroom? Like, I'm sure it exists though. I'm sure there's like, yeah, you don't need a bathroom. Why would you need a bathroom? But we want one bathroom and we want it to be, do you select all? I just want houses, okay? And give me a house. Now let's get our price in line. So we're looking at 1.47, let's call it point uh, 1.45, yeah, no, 1.47 million, so 1. Point, uh, let's just find it. Oh, okay, can't get it in exactly. Uh, let's try, maybe between this and 
1.25 to 1.5, somewhere in that. And then we'll, we'll search, uh, search through, see what we can find. And I'm gonna search for low to high. Okay, low to high, Phoenix, Arizona. And we're looking around that uh, 1.45. So let's go up a little bit. Just trying to find around the like for like pricing here, guys. We're not gonna go for the cheapest. Okay, here we go. So 1.45, that, that's around what we're looking at. We're on a like for like. I think it was like 1.4. Four, seven, something around that. All right, so let's open up just a couple of these ones. And what else looks nice? Let's 1.46, something like that. We'll have a look at three. So first house over in Phoenix, Arizona, 1.45 million. That's uh, equivalent around that 2.2 million over in Australia. So we go like for like, but instead um, of the three bedroom, one bathroom that we had before, uh, we now have the six beds, four baths, 5,062 square feet uh, on uh, just over half an acre on the lot size on this one. Um, wow. Just looking at the, the general outlook from this photo compared to the other one where you see this, you know, little white thing crammed between two other buildings. Um, we are suddenly looking at a much larger house and land here. So let's open it up. Let's have a look at this one. Number one. Okay, first one. Man, I feel ripped off in Australia. What's going on here? Okay, we got this huge, beautiful house here. Wowzers. Look at that, two stories, and you got this open living area up the top and a pool. Huge amount of land around. That looks gorgeous. It's got this modern, kind of like um, Caribbean beach feel to it. Maybe this is the Arizona look, I don't know. Let me know, guys. Do all houses in Arizona look like this? But no idea. But a beautiful pool out there. Um, I think Arizona is a desert. Is it? I don't know. Let me know, guys. Is Arizona a desert and you need a pool in Arizona? Uh, the people in Arizona living without pools right now. Uh, let's see. Oh, huge house. You got your garage out the front. Um, they got a whole bunch of deserty looking plants growing there. So maybe, maybe, maybe it is quite hot in Arizona. It can't be hotter than Australia, though. We we live here in a scorcher. Um, let's have a squeeze here, a lot of concrete, but hang on, so you got what, a double garage and then a second single garage there. This house is huge. All right, so on the plan, we got, we're gonna have a family living room and a living room. Not only do you have a family living room, but then you have the second living room, not for the family. Um, a dining area that's not in the living room. Okay, um, a piano room, a piano room, a room for a piano? In, America, what, what, what is going on here? You just have rooms just for a piano? That's crazy. A laundry, bedroom, bathroom, bathroom, bre a breakfast nook. You have a dining area, and then you have a breakfast nook. So while well, breakfast, you eat in the breakfast nook. Uh, dining area, you have your own, own room for dining, okay? Don't, don't mix them up. Don't go having breakfast in the dining room or having dinner in the breakfast nook. Wow, this is huge. Um, okay, and then we have the second floor here. A whole bunch of bedrooms. The primary bedroom. Look at the size of that thing. That is a monster. All right, let's get to the photos. And then, oh my God, what is this? Two stories, three stories? Is it a basement or something? I don't, I don't know. Guys, I, I can't tell from these floor plans. Like this is just massive. Three pages of floor plans in Australia. It's like, here's your one page of floor plan. You fit all on one, one little picture. America, you get three different pictures on a real estate listing. That living room is massive. That is beautiful. There's that outdoor kind of space as well. Um, that door. Wow. It's like iron or wood. I'm not sure. Beautiful though. Very rustic looking. Okay, cool. You've got that kind of wood feel inside on the tiles. That's really nice. Huge room. Huge room. Huge bathroom. Sinks on both sides. You got his and hers on other side of the rooms. Wow, and I, I bet that's a huge shower area as well. Um, oh, wait, there we are, the piano room, room for the piano. This is insane, look at the size of this house. Comparing it across to over in Sydney, uh, you have this squeezy little hall, with a, they're like, yeah, you squeeze in the living room down here with the kitchen, on this one little square rectangle, and you know, the bedroom over there, and then go upstairs, you've got two more bedrooms. Compared to the, this mansion over in Arizona, for the same price. What's going on, Australia? This is nuts. It's either America's really good value property or Australia's just screwed. 
Go crazy. And you got a, uh, a fireplace, a pool room, and oh, and look at that view. Like, you got the backyard there, that's fantastic. And then you see the mountains out in the background. That's amazing. Huge, huge pool area. Just sitting around there in the sun. That just looks amazing. You got like, uh, you got the sun chairs out, then you got your, your little tables over there to have have some, uh, I don't know, maybe outdoor barbecue. It just looks really nice, guys. That, that is crazy insane. Half an acre, that modern kitchen. That kitchen is amazing. You got sink, these are your sinks in the middle, sinks on the side, built in ovens, built in cooktops. Oh, I, oh hang on, that's really cool. Um, so you can pass the food through that gap into the dining room. Wow, that's great architecture. I really like that. Um, the three overhang lights, and the plus you got enough lighting on the roof on top of that to see everything. I don't think there's a single shadow in that room possible. Absolutely insane. Look at the size of this house. Look at how beautiful it is. Huge front yard, so you're not right on the street, right on the crosswalk or anything like that. Oh, that's a cute little, look at that wall to the property. That's amazing. Huge rooms, heaps of bathrooms it looks like, heaps of showers. Walk-in wardrobes. Man, this is just nuts. I'm showing you other bedrooms. Guys, this is just crazy. Um, I think we're like half, what's this? Look at the bar. Like, I, I, I thought we were done. I was like just quickly skimming through the, the photos and then suddenly, oh, okay, you got an indoor bar. A bar area. Look at that. Sit around, hang out with the boys, drinking beers. And then you go across to the pool room or if you're feeling creative, across to the piano room, play some tunes on the piano, get a few into you and go for it and make some music happen. Wow. I'm just blown away by the bar room. That's, that's sick. A little speakeasy room inside your house. That's cool. Um, man, like what is going on? There's the size of this house. It's just, just endless. Okay, and then we back to pool room, fire room. More little living rooms. More bathrooms. Oh, dude. Okay, we get the gist. We get the gist of it. This house is huge. So just think about that Sydney home versus this first Arizona home. Let's have a look at the next Arizona home. Okay, so the next one's 1.45 million USD, around that 2.2 million Australian. Uh, it's still got a price cut. Been cut down by 20K, so no one's buying it. And Sydney, real estate just goes boom, like that. That's the cheapest one in Sydney. It's gonna go boom, sold. Instead, we've got four beds, four bathrooms, a quarter acre lot. Absolutely wild. Let's have a look at this. Uh, just, oh, first glance, man. Look at that backyard. That looks amazing. Oh, it's a little fire pit to sit around, plus a pool. Okay, cool. A little infinity pool out the back, it seems. Uh, sit around there, enjoy it. I guess every house has got a pool in Arizona. Wow. Um, nice, modern, outdoor brick look to it. Uh, once again, we got that double garage and then a single garage as well. Um, Single garage looks a little bit narrow though. Like, what, what do you put in there? It's like a motorbike or something? Maybe it's a room for a motorbike. I don't know if you could fit a car in there, but hey, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, nice look out on the main road though. So, but, oh, well, a little side street. Um, but the house looks pretty big. And the outdoor entertaining area. Oh, there we go. So we've got the pool and we got a jacuzzi. Jacuzzi over here. That's crazy. All right, so get a jacuzzi and a pool and outdoor dining with a little fire pit. That's very nice for entertaining. Yeah, I like that. Sit around with the boys, have a few beers, jump in the jacuzzi, jump in the infinity pool. Okay, huge living room. I like this, I like this house a lot. Nice modern walls all the way through, so it's not like, you know, uh, cheap wooden walls or anything like that. Um, it's all plaster and chip rock. It's nice. Oh, that is a that's a good looking bathroom. Just the marble finishes across and everything, plus the tiling, just the color grade between the two of them. That looks really nice. Um, you got your bath, you got your shower, and you got your um, sink. But there was four, I think, four of them in total. Um, four four bathrooms. Pool room again. That's awesome. So much space. There's so much living room space, guys. 
in in America. What's going on here? You have these huge, huge, expansive living spaces. Australia is like, no, here's your here's your little narrow corridor. Try to fit your kitchen and your living room in here. Maybe sleep a few people in this as well. Massive spaces. A little corner for eating, I guess. Oh yeah, I oh, know it's just off to the side. Um, but then it's got little tables set up everywhere. It's like, oh, you can sit here in this room, or you can sit down over in this room and eat, or you can go across to this room and eat. All these little spots. Where do you want to sit? You pick, you choose. You sit at the kitchen bench, sit in this corner over here, go sit down, watch TV. They're just endless. Nice kitchen though. Nice countertops. I can see the oven, uh, the cooktops look great. Built in oven. You got your fridge over there, you plenty of cupboards. I think that little door might be a walk-in wardrobe. Oh, not walk-in wardrobe, walk-in pantry. <laughs> yeah, put your clothes down next to your food. Make it more efficient for when you go to work. No, a walk-in pantry. Um, let's see. Oh, what? Look at that. You put your beers in there. Little clear view fridge. Put your beers in there. That's amazing. Everything. It's just huge rooms. Huge rooms everywhere, okay? Um, huge bedrooms. Huge outdoor area. Um, nice bathrooms as well. Super elegant. That color grade uh, between the tiles and the, the marble. I, I just like that kind of gray shade. That kind of... Um, kind of gray wash feel to it. Stony. Stony feel to it. I think it looks really good. Decent sized bedroom, windows so you can open it up, get the light into the space, into the room. Um, okay, yeah, you, you shower and bath and built into one there. So yeah, there was four. Oh, but look at that view from the pool. Imagine, imagine laying there in the sunbed, you go for a dip in the pool, have a bit of swim around in your budgie smugglers, jump back up on the sunbed, stare across at that mountain view. Maybe have a couple of cools. I think that's a beer's drink over there in America. Coors. Coors Lights. So you're smash down like a whole carton of Milton mangoes and stare at that view. That's amazing, man. Amazing. And that's for the, the same price as something in Sydney. And then you've got the jacuzzi. Jump in there. Just in the jacuzzi. Look at the mountains. Have your Coors Lights. Wow. This is just crazy, man. Like, the house is just so nice. Think back to that Sydney home, think across to this one. So far, which one would you rather? Which one would you rather have? Think to the one before, which one would you rather have? That is crazy. Yep, all right, so I'll just do a quick click through. Um, I think that's AstroTurf, maybe. Oh yeah, that's right, Arizona, I think it's a desert. Um, so maybe grass can't grow properly there, so AstroTurf away. Everyone's got fake grass. Maybe that's the case, I don't know. Oh, look at that. Yep, yeah, look at this. The barbecue area. Built-in barbecues. You had benches all across there. Um, that's great. The outdoor dining is amazing. I, I love that. As an Australian, you see a barbecue set up and you're just like, yep, yeah, all right, I'm sold. How much do you want for this house? That's got a great outdoor dining area. Great barbecue set up for it. Yeah, overall, holy smokes. Like, what an amazing home. That's crazy. Um, crazy when you're looking at the two. Let's look at the third one. Third point of reference. But let's have a look at this one. So it is uh, on a price cut, $35,000 price reduction. And that is 1.46 million. So they just spent over 2.2 million Australian on this one here. We have four bedrooms, three bathrooms, 3,000 square foot home on a quarter acre. Let's have a squiz. It looks like a castle. Holy smokes. This brickwork. It looks like a modern castle. I'm just thinking that, 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 just that little white wall between the, the two other buildings in Sydney compared to looking at this. What would you rather stand in front of? Uh, that little home in Sydney and stare out and be like, yep, that's the, the white wall there. The white wall, that's, that's my one. Or stand out the front and be like, yep, this castle is my home. Mate, wow, let's have a look at this. Huge living room area, huge entry area. And it's just elegance, screams elegance to me. I keep saying elegance, man, because like these, these are elegant looking homes. I'm comparing it across, I'm like, okay, 
Um, this to this. Apples to apples, man. Like, this is just so good. Great plus to work. Nice modern finishes across everything. Um, I like that dining area where you got the, uh, the, the countertops in the middle of the living room so you can serve up food, people can come around, socialize, go and have a party, have guests around, and you know, put on that, that dinner, dinner host hat of yours. Um, that's great to just set out all the food, people could float around the living room and you know, chat and eat. Really cool. I like, is that a double built in oven? Look at all the knobs on that oven. One, two, cooking two things, two different temperatures, two different times. Oh, that is crazy, dude. Bro. And huge, yeah, so just immediately walking in the house, you're like, wow, this is massive. Huge living rooms again, massive sitting around areas. Look at that chandelier. A chandelier in the, the living room. That is fancy, bro. You see any chandeliers in that Sydney house? No, you did not. <laughs> Every American home, chandeliers in the living room. So much better. Wow, okay, huge bedrooms. Bedroom, bedroom, huge bedroom, okay. Yeah, great looking. Once again, kind of that, oh, it's more of a wooden flooring look and then that stone marble um, across the rest of it. That's really nice on the bathroom. Um, I think there's three, three bathrooms on this one. Oh, that's a cool wraparound as well. I don't know why you need mirrors on the, the left and then you like, turn to the right and you've got another mirror there again on that, that corner mirror joint. Don't know why you need a you know full 360 view of yourself as you, you're like, oh, 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 looking at yourself. I don't think you need that, but hey, you know what? Why not? Why not? Huge, don't even know what room this is. Maybe it's a bedroom. Maybe it's a room that you just put a, a cupboard in. Maybe the house is that big. Another bedroom, another bathroom. Oh, it's got a his and hers on this one. Uh, office study, that looks, oh wow. What is that? What is that on the roof? Is that a fan? Is that a fan? A ceiling fan? Like normally like blades or something like that and they spin around. What is this? What's the go with fans on the roof in the ceiling in America? I've never seen anything like these before. Is is like for some dystopian future. It's like it's like your fans no longer have blades. They are uh, built out of gold and they hang from the ceiling. And then there's a little thing that happens over the top and it spins around and pushes the air out from the ins. Wild, wild times. It is a wild time we live in. America, you are living something different to us over here and down under. Nice looking bathroom. Laundry. Um, Alexa, do the laundry. <laughs> That's funny because computer things can't do the laundry for you. That's why that post is funny. Uh, anyway, um, you have a phone on the far right there. A phone with a landline. I don't didn't know they existed anymore, but you know, maybe rich people like to have a phone with a landline for some reason. Don't know what it's for. Um, but yeah, nice little laundry room. Huge. Oh, so this is the... Um, is this the garage? Yeah, it's gotta be the garage, that's massive. The outdoor area. Oh, I can see, I can see, I can see the hints of a uh, barbecue over on the side there. Let's have a look at that barbecue. Give us a, oh, cool. Wow. So they've got the little waterfalls happening into that pool. And it's got a little, on the far left there, you can see a, a little bubbler sprout shooting up water there. Kids love that. But even still, just laying around, being able to like, cool, I'll just jump from these hot stones into the water. Once again, AstroTurf, so I don't think grass grows in Arizona. That's what I'm guessing right now. Uh, but a, a fire pit as well for those cold Arizona nights. Does it get cold in the desert? I guess it, I guess it must. You need a fire pit in the middle of the desert. Sure, but you know, it's a cool ambience regardless. Um, pools, yeah, pool shot, great pool shot, huge. Not a huge backyard, but still enough to entertain, still enough to have your own space around there. Yeah, it's a massive house though. It's showing just a little bit of the surrounding area. Crazy, crazy. So guys, let's, let's think about that Sydney home. And let's think about the three that we had a look in Arizona. Which is your favorite? Do you think that Sydney real estate is fairly priced? Do you think Arizona real estate is an absolute bargain? It's super cheap. 
It's like, wow, you snap up their mansions for like a, you know, it's a cheap price. What, what, what do you guys think? Um, I'm blown away by the size of them houses and just like the decor, like inside the house, it's just the, the layouts, the size, um, the, the, the outdoor entertaining, like having pools, having barbecues, um, that's really cool over in Arizona. I really like that, that outdoor kind of living and having that space. And then some of the views as well, like seeing the mountains, amazing, absolutely amazing. But yeah, guys, what do you, what do you think? Would you rather Sydney or would you rather Arizona? Which was your favorite of the four houses we looked at today? Which one would you move into if you had that $2.2 million Australian or uh, $1.45 million USD? Which one would you take out of the four that we looked at? Sydney Down Under or one of the three Arizona properties? But guys, that uh, has just been another look comparing across cheapest in Sydney for a three bedroom home to just like, what's what's the equivalent you get overseas over in Arizona uh, in, uh, what was it, Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona. That's absolutely nuts. But anyway, guys, um, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. If there's any other cities you want me to compare against, I'll compare Australian cities across to cities overseas. Um, let me know, comment down below. But yeah, I just want to point out Australian real estate, Crazy prices, it seems, for what you get compared to what you can get for the same price overseas. Absolutely nuts. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this content, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.